Weitzel is a 170 wheelbase, older NCV sprinter van. And you'll notice it's a little bit longer. So they put in their own floor and asked us to finish the job for them. We also put in an AM Auto sliding screened window. So to start off with, put in a swivel seat as well as a lagoon table. And this gives you great seating for two people as well as a little bit of an office chair uh, for uh, one person. Now this lagoon table is mounted onto our 24 inch lower cabinet. That gives you a lot of storage space and a bench to sit on as well. We did a custom cabinet here for a three burner oven with a five pound propane tank. Now this is a great custom cabinet that we did for this customer and it has a closable glass top lid. Sits right next to our standard sink cabinet module where we have a Dometic glass top lid sink with running water and 20 gallons of water storage. Favorite features of our standard kitchen sink cabinet on top of the massive amount of storage inside is the hidden kick plate drawer to store your valuables, of which we put in a custom cutout based on where the drain is. Not so much of a secret anymore, but we went ahead and put in a customer supplied fridge as a module beside our standard sink cabinet. This was another custom product for us at the shop here. And we used a stranded bamboo countertop that we extended a little bit more fully over and underneath our flip up kit on our three panel Fugit bed system. Great option to give you some additional countertop space while you're cooking a meal. Up above, we put in three upper cabinets that are standard 24 inch upper cabinets available also as DIY products that mount all to our mounting rail system with dimmable under cabinetry lighting. All this has been added to our core build. In our core build, we put in our paneling kit up above, our rail system, as well as a vent fan, sidewall panels here, and lower wall panels that you can see right by the bench cabinet. And in addition to that core build, we added all the cabinetry on top of that. It's kind of a phase two. We have our loo box, which is just a simple chamber pot. Now this is our standard passenger side kitchen cabinet. Inside that gives you a couple of storage adjustable shelves, as well as this cabinet has optional storage space instead of installing a fridge, which is typical. Fold down table, pressure latch, and we did a little additional shoe cubby that was a custom inside the shop here just to give the passenger cabinet a little bit of support. We have our 22 gallon over the wheel well water tank with storage as well as room for winterizing and in there too you can access the water filter and maintenance. We have the water fill port, the spray port for the shower and of course a water monitoring system with a pump control for your shower. Now the shower is awesome because it's all set up with quick connects. So if I wanted to remove the propane, I can disconnect with the safety disconnect for the propane. If I wanted to remove the water, same thing. And of course the shower head, I have a quick disconnect for that as well. This duck board, it's stored on a felt line storage rack and you can place on the ground and shower uh, out of the mud and the guck. It goes in as easily as it comes out. As well as the inline hot water shower. Install that and put all your components in a bag and you're good to go. Now the Lagoon table has a unique storage solution underneath the flip-up kit on our bed system. Sometimes we store this tabletop and felt line storage tracks beside the cabinetry. In this case we didn't have that opportunity, but we did have an opportunity 
to put it underneath the flip-up kit on the bed system, which also has a second benefit, which I'll go over in a second. Now the benefit of this storage position is it also gives you a quick, usable, additional countertop. Stores underneath the flip-up kit, super easy, and still allows the flip-up kit to be operated. Visit us at roostvans.com and let us know how we can help you out.